Part three, we went to Maasai Mara. This happened after the traditional wedding. We were staying at Sarova Mara. At first, I was very skeptical about this place, but after a while, I just warmed up to it. Got there, we had people greeting us and they took our bags. There was a golf cart waiting for us to take us to our room. So we turned it down and then we just took a walk and the guy just took our bags to the room. I thought we were walking into our room, but going there, it was like a cottage. I loved this place. Mostly the bed was very comfortable. Eitan was so into the art that was above our bed. It was very cultural. After we were all relaxed and settled in, we went to hang out by the poolside. During dinner time, there was a cultural performance, which was really nice. Very early next morning, we went to a game drive. The morning safari was great. This has been an experience that I've always wanted to experience in my life. And I'm so glad that I experienced it with Eitan. It's great. Also, I've never been this close to a lion. I guess I have in Lake Nakuru, but this was a, on a different level. We did not hire anyone to do a safari with us. We just used our own car. I don't think I'll recommend a self-drive in Masai Mara, maybe different park. At checkout, we agreed to take the golf cart out to our car, which was very funny. I mean, we had to use it. After that, we went to a different game camp for the night. So we checked in to Emayan camp. So Emayan was amazing in its own way. I cannot compare it to Sarova, not in a bad way, but it had its own special environment there. Just like Sarova, all the rooms were a little bit secluded. The cool thing is you have your own jacuzzi outside your cottage. We basically just hang out there for one night and then the next day they took us to a bush brunch where we just had brunch and the Maasai's there were like dancing and that's Eitan there dancing with them. And then we checked out and we used the Kiricho route to get to Eldora. The view was crazy. Everything was so green. It was Aton's first time to go through this route and he was shocked on how beautiful this place is. This reminded me of my old days when I used to be at University of Kabianga. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.